Morning all. <laughs> I'll just let you know the bird has flown away. She survived. I uh, released her not long after I recorded that video, actually. Um, I've noticed something with this bike. It's not for 24 inch wheels, it's for 26. But if I get one of these brakes, slide that on there, it breaks on the tyre. <laughs> So I got it wrong. So I'm feeling like a complete dipstick at the minute. <clears throat> but that frame really looks like it doesn't take 26, but I'm guessing those wheels that were with it are actually the ones that I'm meant to go in it. Right. I'm just doing myself some breakfast. Yeah, I like to cheat. <laughs> Just let that come to the boil on the stove. Boil them for ten minutes, and while they're cooling, I can zip across and get a loaf of bread. Yeah, so, um, I'm going to fish out the 26-inch wheels. Actually, one's downstairs in the shed. As I pinch the inner tube out of it and put those back in there and try the brakes again. I think the front wheel is actually up here. But uh, if it all works, then I'm going to pinch the front brake off that little silver kid's bike thing and put a different V-brake on it, just so I can have this pair on this one. <clears throat> yeah. Is it me, or do I sound like I've just got out of bed? Probably because I haven't been awake long. I went back to bed for a couple of hours after the bird flew. <coughs> that was one hell of a thud on the window, I'll tell you that. Ooh. I've got a video going up now. A short video, so it's not going to take too long. any further. <clears throat> Unless I've replied too late they find something else. Hmm. I don't know. bubble them yet? Nope. <laughs> right. Just wait for that to 
bubble. Fucking broken, I'm not going to put it. Um, ah. Top of bits. Laptop screws and a drill bit. Chuck them in there for now. Yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot about those. I still haven't listened to that CD yet. Put this, uh, with the rest of the PS1 games. Oh, fuck my knee just cracked. Like so. Close. Oh, God, I have this. That's my other big ass six volt one. That can go into the box under the bed. Bulbs can go through there, but I know I need at least two of these power adapters, laptop adapters. But I'm not sure which two yet, so we can go through. This is a problem when you've only got <coughs> two hands and you've got a camera in one and only one free hand. Blobs down there. Again, they go in the box under the bed later. Good, we're bubbling. So they need to come off in about ten minutes. Right, I need to change the batteries in this, so uh, I'll. Uh, Switch you back on when I've got the bike in here. I'll do something with that lot as well. Right. I've got wheels in this. And I've also done a bit of research. It's a Schwinn Rocket 88 Stage 3. No idea what Stage 3 is. I don't. It makes it sound like it's some sort of a professional based bike. Um, but I do know someone online that I could ask about this if they know anything about it. I will take a photo of it and uh, include that. But uh, I've got this funny feeling that those handlebars are meant to be that low for a reason. Because I've got a funny feeling. This is a standard suspension bike. Because like I said, this thing is extremely light. <laughs> I'm not even struggling. You know, I could it's the lightest suspension bike I've ever had. So in a minute I'm gonna just message or take a photo of this when I've done this segment of video and message that guy. I'll do it through his Facebook page. Because um, he's American, he'll know more about an American bike than I probably would. Well, he will. I'd know bugger all about Schwinn. I just know they are an, Ameri an American bike. But um, on Google, I don't know how recent the advert was, but I did see someone selling just the frame for one of these for £135. That wasn't a UK website. Um, whether or not that's what they got for it, I don't know. But, if it is, I think I picked up quite a bargain for five pounds, don't you? Uh, it 
looks like it had red pedals. It would have had red pedals originally to match the um, rear shock. Forks are a bit seized, so they're going to need freeing off. I think they will free off. There's no rust under there. I think some water has gotten in there, and they just, you know, lack of use has uh, caused it. I think maybe we I've put some WD-40 down there. A bit of oil and a bit of bouncing around out on the road. That should free them off. Pardon me. Yeah, I'm actually um, quite happy. Ride tuned. So I don't think that's standard either. But uh, I'm definitely going for the alloy brakes. And I've got front derailleur up there, I've got rear derailleurs. That is actually quite a short distance as well, I've noticed. That's a very short distance, actually. I'm, I'm not selling this. And if I did, it wouldn't be a cheap one. Because it'll have all new cables and whatnot on it. Which I wouldn't be able to do until next week. Which sucks. I've got no gear shifters anyway, so there's no point getting any cables yet. <laughs> I need to, uh locate them. I've got some cheapy versions of grip shifts, but that's just going to spoil it if I put them on this. I'd be better off just keeping those as spares to replace on bikes I get in that uh, have identical grip shifts that are broken. Or ones that need a pair, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off and uh, get a bit more research done. Uh, well, I haven't done much to this, but I think I've got a rough age. It could be the late 1990s, um, thanks to the help from RJ. Well, let's see if there's a serial, there's usually a serial number on the um, underside of that bottom bracket. So I'm going to see if there's one on there. And I'll uh, Google that. See if that comes up with anything. You know, but there might be a database out there. Oh, excuse me. Um, if we're lucky. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this uh, done. Um, but I lack gear shifters. I think. <laughs> I'm actually going to double check my box of shifters. So I might actually have some decent, at least one decent pair in there. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. So I think what I'll do tomorrow, I'll go downstairs and uh, wheel swap between the Giant and the Rally Max. So I'll put the black wheels from the Rally Max in the Giant. And I've taken down a set of alloy rims to go into the Rally Max, I hope. <laughs> and uh, it'll just be a matter of sort of swapping tyres over. I'm trying to find a less meaty tyre for the front of the Rally Max, because it looks a bit odd. When the back one's not as chunky. Oh, here we go. <sighs> and no, I'm not tired because I spent two hours with that bird. <laughs> that sounded so wrong, didn't it? Um, I'm actually tired because I did wake up and I was trying to go back to sleep when the bird went thunk in my window. So because I was already awake and I was having trouble dozing back off the thing I'd been trying for about an hour, I just slung some clothes on, went and rescued the bird, released the bird, went back to bed. <laughs> so I've probably had in total about four hours sleep. So I don't think I'll 
I'll be hanging around online for too long tonight. It's actually uh, 20 past 9 at the minute. Oh, for God's sake! <sighs> Nemo's crazy because he wants, uh, he's got biscuits in his dish. That was close. I've just got a light claw in my leg. <laughs> Crazy because he wants um, meat in his dish. That seems to be the only way he eats his biscuits if I mix it with a bit of meat. He doesn't seem too keen on them on his own, on their own. Oh, for God's sake! Is that like the third or fourth time since I had the camera on? What are you doing? I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening. There's not much I can bolt to the Schwinn. There's definitely one I'm considering keeping. That's why, well, because there's a chance I might sell it if I don't like how it feels when I ride it, I don't know if I don't like it. I don't want to go forking out a lot of money for it. Because uh, I'd have to recoup that money back as well as profit. But I have actually figured out I could respray bikes using those. Well, it shouldn't have cost me no more than six pounds, to be honest. Which is cheap. Uh, well, we'll say one pound a tin, we'll round it off the extra penny. Um, so yeah, that is a good. Mm, that must be a fifth time. Mm. The things I do for wildlife, because I'm such a big fucking softie. <laughs> I'd have, I'd have done the same if it was a human out there. I'm just a big softie. <coughs> I know the weather hasn't done plants any favours because you see these bushes out here. They are usually, by this time of year, a hell of a lot bigger than that. In fact, a lot of the branches at the end here are usually going right across that path, right in front of my trailer down there. This year they're not. So, it looks like... There's always a bit of a mix, because some plants have flourished really well, and others have just, uh... not. <laughs> But, uh, all plants are different. I actually haven't seen that blackbird anymore. Well, mind you, they all look the same, so... But, uh... Oh, pardon me. <coughs> pardon me. Yeah. I was talking to Mum earlier on the phone, and she asked me, how did I know it was a girl? It's actually easy with blackbirds. The males are completely black, with a little yellow ring around their eye, and have quite a yellow tint to the beak, the edge of the beak. And uh, the females, for some reason, are actually brown, with a speckled chest. <coughs> so, uh, well, that's how I knew I had a female. <laughs> uh, and like I said, I don't think she was actually that old. Because, uh, she seemed smaller than a lot of the blackbirds I was seeing outside. It could have just been a trick of my eyesight. Because obviously I wasn't actually that close to a lot of the others. Although when I stood outside with her in my arms, the others did look a bit intrigued as to what I was doing. <coughs> and probably not understanding why I wasn't hurting the bird. <coughs> I 
can't use that box anymore because he's shit in it. Which in a sense was a good thing because I knew, she, you know, she was her bodily functions and everything was working fine. <laughs> it does actually just seem like the only injury she sustained was a conk on the head. A very hard conk on the head as she was out cold on the floor. Uh, a lot of birds are actually flying at my windows, mostly pigeons. They um, sort of bounce off the window, they might stagger around on the floor a bit and then they fly off. Um, I've had one, I believe it was this window, a pigeon flew into and broke its neck. And uh, I just remember going downstairs and uh, and um, well, I remember looking out the window, and you could see it just sort of, you know, staggering around all over the place. And all of a sudden, it just went dush and just keeled over dead. I thought I can't leave it out front because there's kids and whatnot. It's not nice for kids to see, is it? So, uh, I did move it, and it had a rather flippity floppity neck, a very clear indication that its neck had broke. Why do I get the feeling they're playing Pokemon Go? That might explain why it's been pretty busy out here tonight. That's one of the good things about the game. It's bringing friends together like that. You can all play together on the same team. And you can all go out hunting together. Unless you're like some fucking twat today. On the M26 here in the UK, who decides, with three kids in the car, to swerve across three lanes of traffic, stop in the middle of the fucking motorway, and have a gym battle with a nine year old kid in the middle of the fucking motorway? Of all places. Uh, and I think they said it took about half an hour. And it just held up the whole motorway. But the stupid thing is, that action caused a five hour delay. Because if you think about it, a half an hour's worth of traffic coming to a stop, that's a lot of miles of traffic tailing back that's got to get going again. All because of some dozy 46 year old prick decided it was a good idea to stop in the middle of the motorway to have a gym battle. Dickhead. That's <laughs> all I have to say, he's a dickhead. You know, there's a time and a place for it. And not to mention he was actually playing the game while he was fucking driving with kids in the car. I swear when people do that I just want to get the phone and shove it so far up their fucking ass their ears will ring. Because <clears throat> there's nothing more, nothing annoys me more, I should say, annoys me, get the pronunciation correct, than people doing stupid things behind the wheel, even on a push bike. Anyone doing anything stupid on the road annoys me. I nearly ran some, I suppose about college student age, maybe, give or take, and there's a traffic light controlled pedestrian crossing. They didn't hit the button, they just stepped up. My light's on green, and they just stepped out and walked across. As if they've got, you know, the God-given right to cross, regardless of whatever, what colour their light is. I scared them, because I kept going, and only just missed them. <laughs> if people are going to be a dick like that, I'm going to be a dick as well. I didn't aim for them, and I timed it so I would just skim them. You know, just sort of skim past behind them. <clears throat> in the vain hope that something like that may make him think in the future. That's a good idea. I can line the camera up with my face because I can see the reflection in the window. 
Ah, maybe I should tape a mirror to the back of this on a like a, a mini selfie stick. Oh, I'll be glad when I can get a camera. I really, really will. The VHS ones are okay, but they're so time consuming. Really. But, uh, I might actually get the VHS one out and just do a few videos on this bike. Uh, the frame's got to be fully cleaned up. Especially around there. It's almost like someone just didn't want the frame anymore and put all the parts on another frame and then just ditched what they didn't want. So it was just weird. I don't even know if the wheels I picked up... At, well, I know the wheels I picked up didn't go with it because the front one was too big. But... And that tire's fucked. I just realised all the sides gone. <sighs> I hate that because the tread's perfect. Anyway... I'm guessing someone did, you know, took took off all the dralias, the cranks and the handlebars and the V-brakes and everything and probably put them on another frame. Didn't want this one anymore. Had it sitting around in the garden for ages and had to clean out and just took it down the dump. Now the daft thing is, they could have actually probably sold this. I think it would have sold as it was. Some people will spend a little bit of money Purchasing just the frame, if it's a good one. I mean, if you really want to, I could um, strip the stickers off and respray it and put some... <laughs> my hair is on. And put some, you know, remade stickers all on it. Forks are in excellent condition, actually, paint-wise. Paint so I can't see that they... why they wouldn't... Uh, Unseas, maybe they're just stiff, maybe it's me and they are just stiff. But, uh, definitely one of my favourite dual suspension bikes that I've picked up recently. In fact, it's the first one I've picked up for a while. Anyway, I don't think there's a lot more I could... Well, there is a lot more I could talk about. But I ain't gonna, because <laughs> I ramble too much as it is. So, uh, better get this video done. I'm presuming Mum will still call me later tonight. She said she would sit there. She said she would. I thought she was going to last night, but uh, she went to bingo. And of course, it was late by the time she got home, so... And then by that time she was tired as well, which is understandable. Um, yeah. All I can say is I'm actually looking forward to getting this bike up and running. The V-brake's not a problem. Brake levers might be. Although I do have a set of black ones which are damaged, but I can repaint them. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'll just have to have a look. I'll have a look for them grip shifts tomorrow as well when I'm in the shed. <coughs> I'm going to do a tar... I smell gas. Natural gas. Not arse gas or gasoline, natural gas. We must have the heating on, because that means the boiler outside, the boiler in the boiler room has just kicked in. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for some more bicycle videos. I'll, like I said, I'll bring out the VHS camera, and uh, make a couple of videos of me doing some various jobs on this hour long VHS so I could just set it up on a table over here or something pointing at the bike and I could just chat away and do the work. That sounds like a plan. Or at least, you know, film me doing a couple of jobs. That's a plan. That is a plan. I like that idea. Alright then. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.